Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get this natural eye and bold lip. First of all, I'm going to take the Bella Cafe in the Milani Gel eyeshadow and I'm going to place that all over my lid. It is very close to my natural skin tone, um, which is why it's perfect for this natural eye look. Then I'm going to go in with the Drinking a Glass of Shine Color Icon Palette from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to take this dark brown color and use that in my crease to define the upside down V. And I'm going to work it into the crease back and forth to create that dimension that makes your eye really pop. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is take this cream color here and I'm going to put that right under my brow bone, right under the arch of where I have my eyebrows arched. And this just lifts the brow bone to make it look as if it is uh, lifted and snatched, girl. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is blend those two colors together. Of course, you know I don't want lines of color. I want them to fade into one another. I'm going to deepen that outer V. As you go, you can look and see if it's an as intense as you want it. Then I'm gonna take the lighter shade in the palette. Uh, it's also a cream color, and I'm gonna put that in my tear duct just to brighten up that area. And then I'm going to line my lap, my eyes with the Wet n Wild Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in black and I love using this eyeliner. I've gotten quite quick at it, which I'm really proud of, but I promise I'm gonna venture out and try a new one as soon as I'm done with this one. Then I'm gonna take my Dynamic Duo for the moment uh, in mascara. The first one I'm using is the L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black. And I'm also gonna use the Maybelline uh, Falsies Mascara next in black as well. Just clean it up a little bit there, making sure they're even. I have a review on these two mascaras. I will link it down below for you if you're interested. Right, now for the star of the show, I'm gonna take the Maybelline, I'm sorry, the CoverGirl Matte Balm in Shameless. And this is a beautiful purple color, wonderful pigmentation, as you can see, and wonderful moisture. They don't dry my lips out at all. Isn't this perfect? All right, here's the finished look on the natural eyes. I think they turned out really, really well. Um, the really simple thing that I did with my eyes today was with the Milani New Eyeshadow in Bella Cafe. And honestly, it's almost the same complexion as my skin with just a little bit of, of glimmer. Um, and you really can't, can't tell too much. And I used the uh, Wet n Wild Matte Palette and it's called Drinking a Glass of Shine and it just has all matte colors. You can find this in your drugstore. It's not new. And I just basically use the dark in the crease, this, this on my eyebrow bone, and a mix of this in the highlight in the corners and the tear ducts of my eyes. So honestly and truly it was very simple. Um, I didn't, you know, didn't use too much of, of work you know, it was, it was very simple and I just bronzed my cheeks nicely with, um, the black radiance, uh, spiced 
rum spice, excuse me. And I am trying out the 24 hour Revlon Color Stay Foundation in caramel, which I really am liking so far. Um, excuse me while I tear stuff up. Um, I, I really am liking it so far. So let me know what you think about this look. I think it's fun. Um, a nice summer night out or even during the day to, to run, an, run errands if you're feeling fancy. And of course, this is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in Shameless because I have no shame. And that's what that looks like. I think it's a really pretty look. So thanks, Jamie, for requesting the purple lip challenge. Here it is. And I hope you enjoy these neutral eyes as well. Well, until next time, thank you for watching. And if you have something nice to say, say it. If you don't, keep it to yourself. Peace.